In its efforts to combat HIV, the pharmaceutical community has in its crosshairs what a field general would refer to as a target-rich environment. In its first brush with a T cell, the HIV particle uses its GP120 surface glycoprotein to snag a CD4 membrane protein and its co-receptor, triggering the harpoon-like GP41 glycoprotein core that draws together and fuses the viral and host cell membranes, propelling the viral core into the T cell cytoplasm. An uncoating process releases the viral capsid containing two copies of viral RNA associated proteins and the viral enzymes vital to replication, reverse transcriptase and integrase. Once in the cytoplasm, reverse transcriptase creates a double helix DNA copy of the virus RNA that is circularized and covered on its ends with a pre-integration complex of proteins, including a tetramer of integrase molecules. Coordinating magnesium ions at their active sites help to hydrolyze a dinucleotide from each three prime end, exposing new hydroxyl groups. The pre-integration complex guides the proviral DNA to a host nuclear pore and threads inside to find a convenient loop of host DNA. Latching on, the integrase positions the three prime hydroxyl groups over host DNA phosphorus atoms five base pairs apart. and splices in. Integration is completed by host repair mechanisms that fill the gaps with complementary base pairs. Host RNA polymerase transcribes the viral DNA into genome length RNA molecules, some of which are further processed to become messenger RNA coding for viral proteins. The messenger RNA is threaded through a vast array of ribosomes to create the peptide chains that protease will cut to become viral proteins. Finding their way to staging zones under the cell surface, areas marked by GP120 proteins, these peptide chains encapsulate the viral RNA copies just arriving from the nucleus and provision them with protein tools essential to further replication. When aggregation is complete, the entire complement of viral RNA and proteins is corralled into a bud that breaks off the T-cell surface and floats into the plasma. Like an efficient nanomachine, the molecules in the immature virion assemble the capsid, ripening the virus to infect the next host cell.